Hi you guys, it's Kina and thanks for tuning in. Today I'm going to talk about living with other women. Can you imagine? So while in prison, of course, you're in a two-woman cell. And this cell is, let's say, 10 by 5. Inside the cell is just a toilet, a sink, and a bunk bed. This cell is small. The toilet is sitting directly next to the bed. And when I say directly, I mean like you can reach over and touch the person in the bed. That's how close the toilet is. So can you imagine living in a cell with another person and that person has to do the number two. <laughs> And the number two don't smell good at all. <laughs> There's no air that you can turn on to air it out, okay? And there's nothing to block out the sound. You're just right there, and that person has to go. Wow. Not just that. You're in a cell with someone who, I don't know, just for some reason, when they have to urinate, it smells. It smells like, <laughs> I can't tell you. All I know is, for an example, there was one older woman, no, young lady, who... I don't know. Oh, for some reason, I, I guess when you're out there, when you're running amok is what they call it, when you're living on the streets, when you're doing drugs, you're not really a home person. You're not taking care of your body. You're just putting anything in it. When you go to the bathroom, your insides, all that smells come out. So there was one young lady, every time she went to the bathroom just to pee, whew, the smell was so strong. The smell was so bad. I would just be, oh, just wow. So I could only take this for so long to where I had to tell her. I said, you know what? I like you, and I'm not trying to be mean or disrespectful, but... Every time you go to the bathroom, it smells bad. And I think it's because you're not drinking any water. This young lady would drink coffee all the time, no water whatsoever. I said, why don't you try drinking a lot of water? And, and I think it, it won't be that bad. So she said, okay. So sure enough, she started drinking water. Ooh, that did not help. <laughs> that did not help. Every time, it didn't matter. She go and pee, it was just, woof. It was just thinking, okay? So what I would do when I went to the bathroom, if I had to do the number two, I would wait. I would wait until they unlock the door and then I would go because there's restrooms everywhere. I would go somewhere else and use the bathroom because I didn't want to stink nobody out, you know. So I would hate when somebody would wake up in the morning and act like they couldn't wait until they opened the door. OK, so they would just go. Oh, God, can you imagine? I hated that. OK, there was one. I remember one bunkie was what we called each other bunkies. I remember I had one bunkie and every time she would start her menstrual cycle. Oh, it would be death. No, I had a whole bunch of them. <laughs> now that I think about it. But there was this um, start with this one. Oh, I couldn't stand her. Ooh, every time she had a cycle, she would be smelling like death. And then she would, you know, me. Yes, Kai? Uh, okay, Kay's going to fix you something to eat. <laughs> okay, so me, when I take a shower, when I take off my panties, I would wash my panties in the shower. You know, then I would hang on by my bed. Stop. 
and then I would hang them by my bed and let them dry. This girl would wait until she got back in the room, this little bitty cell, okay, wait until they locked the doors, and she would wash her panties. She would wash her panties and Oh, I was on the top bunk, and the smell would come up to my top bunk. Stinky, rotten. Ooh, I hated that. Nasty, stinky. 